Hello everybody, my name is KingStix and welcome back to a brand new League of Legends video. Today I want to talk about playing Rambus in the early game. Starting off, 9 times out of 10, you're going to want to start out your Raptor camp. It's going to give you the most XP and you can clear it very quickly since you're going to take Talisman and W to start out with. Whenever you're taking it, if you start killing the little ones first, then you kill the big one last. You're going to take overall less damage, but it's going to take you a little bit longer to clear it. And if you start on the big one first, killing it first, and then the little ones last, you'll have a slightly faster clear with a little bit less HP. So it doesn't really matter which one you attack first. In general, though, if you want a slightly faster clear, just keep attacking the big one, and the little one should die on you after you have used your W twice. Just walk up to it, auto attack E, W. Make sure you get off your W in time before it's hit you with its first auto attack. Now you need to decide if you want to gank top or mid. So if the enemy mid lane or top laner is pushing, you need to decide if you're going to gank or not. And if you do want to gank, you're going to go straight to your boo buff, clear it, and then you'll be level 3. If you don't want to gank, then just do your wolves, blue, then grump, and you'll be level 4. It's very important that you decide whether you're going to gank or not at level 3 or just keep clearing for your level 4 because if the enemy top lane and mid lane are playing really aggressive you can easily go up behind them with your Q and gank them. In this case I don't really want to gank, there aren't any open lanes. Just going to clear wolves, go to blue, grop, I'll be level 4 and at that point I can gank if I want to or I can just go into river, take scuttle, then recall and get like a Bambi cinder or something. Alright now let's talk about your level order. Obviously you're going to take W level 1, taunt level 2, and Q level 3. This will give you overall the best clears and then you'll have your Q if you do want to gank at level 3 if you decide to do so. Also, you're going to want to max your Q first. This might sound crazy, but it's overall the best thing to do. All of your, your W and your Eon Rams do not get lower in cooldown the more you level them up. However, your cool gets much lower in cooldown and speeds you up much faster. This will make your ganks a lot stronger. You'll get in on them better and you'll have more... And more likely than not, you're going to be able to land your taunt since you're going to be able to close the distance to get to them. Also, your Q does a lot of damage, so the more you level it up, it turns into a burst. After you've leveled your Q, you're going to want to go ahead and max your E second and your W last. If you are a red team, same thing, just start Raptors. You don't need a leash, however, if you get one, it'll speed things up a little bit. Just clear it like normal. If you attack the little ones first and then let them die on the second W rotation, you'll take a little bit less damage overall but your clear will be a little bit slower. If you just attack the big one the whole time, then your clear will be a little bit faster, but you'll have a little bit less HP. And of course, now you're gonna wanna go and do your red. And at that point, you need to decide if you wanna gank at level three. If you do wanna gank at level three, go straight to your blue. If not, just do your wolves blue, then gromp. Very simple stuff. On your first back on Rammus, ideally, you wanna be able to buy at least a Bambi Cinder. It would be really cool though if you could buy a Bambi Cinder and your normal boots and then finish out your Cinder Hulk. If you don't have the gold and you have to back, it's better to get your Chilling Smite or your Challenger Smite than it is to buy just a Health Crystal and wait to get Bambi Cinder. You only want to get Bambi Cinder first if you have 900 gold and you can afford it, but overall it will speed up your clears and give you a lot of damage. This game that I'm showing you right now is a little bit weird, so I do my Raptors like normal. I come over here and apparently the enemy took my red buff while I was taking my Raptors, which is very rare. Ideally, your top laner should be keeping watch. They shouldn't just be sitting at their turret AFKing. It's whatever though. I am still level 2. I'm still going to take my taunt at level 2 because I need it to help me clear fast. Going to go to wolves, take it, and then I can take blue and get level 3. If I were to just go over and do blue right now, I would almost be level 3. So might as well do wolves first. That way I'm not walking back and forth. Do my blue and then I'm going to look for a gank. There's no point of really doing Grom because it's not going to give me level 4 after I finish blue. So... Just going to look for a gank between mid and bot. Enemy bot lane is pushed up pretty far, pushing kind of mindlessly. So walk over here to the plant, knock me in. Even if this is warded, I'm already behind them. Activate Q for the speed up. Now I'm moving fast already behind them. Gonna, was going to land a double knock up, but Thresh gets the kill. And Thresh kind of overstays a little bit. He was low on health. He should have flashed sooner. But we get a double kill and only one of us dies, so it's definitely ward. At this point... You should just shove in lane, kill it really fast. That way you get XP and gold and the enemy team will lose out on your wave of minions since they're going to die on their turret. In this case, I kind of wanted to freeze it, but Ash kept attacking them. Anyways, I'm going to go mid. I see Heimdinger isn't pushed up too far, but I believe he is gankable. Whenever you're clearing Scuttle, always taunt it first. You'll do th like 30% more damage, plus it'll hold it still for you. And of course, someone like Heimdinger is going to keep pushing, as I figured. Going to walk up, start my Q. Now that I'm moving quickly, I'm within vision. 
run up to him, knock him up, immediately taunt, activate W, and just auto attack him. Ganks on Rammus are that simple. Ultimately, you do want to get behind them with your Q already activated, and then you're just simply going to run into them, taunt W, and attack them. Since Heimerdinger is a heavy push champion, I'm trying to hover around mid the best I can. Just come up behind with Q activated, flash into him E, and start attacking him. Between me and Corky, we have a lot of damage, especially Corky. <laughs> He's got some pretty insane bursts, so I knew even if I flashed there, and knocked him up. I knew we could have killed him by the time he came out of my taunt. It's important on Ramus to try to figure out on the enemy team which champions are push champions. For example, things like Malzahar, Heimerdinger, Sivir are all push champions and you want to try to camp those enemy lanes. Also weak top laners like ADCs such as Vayne and Lucian, you typically want to camp them as well because they're very squishy and easy to gank. There are some lanes that are very difficult to gank because if they have CC they can cancel your Q like you saw there. Your Q is technically a channel so if they throw a root, taunt, silence, polymorph, knockback, pretty much everything except for a slow will cancel Ramses Q so try to be mindful of that. For example if you're ganking something like a Syndra or a Zurath, you gotta try to bait out their stun. Also, you can't go through barred portals with your Q on. That's a really important thing to know. Ramus has a lot of killing power whenever your ultimate is up, especially if you have Chilling Smite, because between those two slows, they really can't get away from you, like with what you saw there. Also, your ultimate does an absurd amount of damage, so if you can just stay on them, keep, keep them slowed, they will die. One of Ramus's weakest aspects is that he's so weak in the early game in terms of soloing potential. Also, he's not very tanky early game, so early game junglers like Nidalee, Warwick, Lee Sin can give him a lot of trouble because in 1v1s, Ramus will lose. Also, in 2v2s, Ramus will usually lose depending on the strength of the laners. So in the situation like this, I should have just went straight backwards. I don't know why I cut right. And like you can see, they're doing so much damage and I'm not tanky yet that I just get shredded apart. Where Ramus really starts to shine is in the mid and late game once he has an item or two and he's level 11 and up pretty much. He gets really strong, his ultimate's very powerful, it's pretty much a perma slow. For example, Nar can't move at all, he's basically just Nasus slowed. They're all kind of focusing me, I don't take too much damage, I am pretty low, but I can willing to, I am able to stay in the fight and keep helping out my teammates. Rams gets even stronger in the late game, that's why tank meta is so good right now, is because tanks scale so hard. If it does go late game, they have a massive advantage. On Rambus, once you do have your Thornmel and your Tabbies, you can easily solo AD carries and chase them down as well. You're going to be very quick, and every time they attack you, they're just going to be killing themselves. Q, Taunt, W, keep attacking them. And once they start getting away, you're going to turn off your W so you move faster and keep killing them. If your ultimate is up, you shouldn't have to turn off your W because they should be super slowed. In the mid and late game on Rambus, you should be looking for picks. Tolly's out of position, run into her, smite to take off her shield. Then Q into for the knockup, E, Taunt, W. She dies really quickly, and since very few people build Merc Treads in League of Legends right now, your taunt lasts forever. It's pretty much a guaranteed kill whenever your teammates are with you. Gonna just run up to Twitch. He's killing himself on my Thornmel, and I believe he is gonna go down from the Tristana. The red buff is OP. Here, Talia isn't really even out of position, but my Q is so OP. I'm just gonna speed up to her, just keep running at her, get to her. Her team can't stop me because I'm so tanky. Taunt, ult, and I've nearly killed her by myself. Cassidy comes in to help me. We're picking up kills and I'm just going to run at Twitch and what is he going to do? He can't kill me. I can kill him. And I'm so tanky that turrets don't do anything to me. Plus with my armor and my W, turrets can't really kill me either. Chase down Twitch, knock him up, E, taunt. And I could have soloed him, but Cassidy came in and kind of KS'd. Nar does come in to help Twitch, so I do go down, but we pretty much ace their team. On Rammus, most of the time it's much better to be starting the fight than counter engaging. Whenever you start the fight, it forces the enemies to try to focus you. Whenever someone on your team gets engaged on, it could be very difficult because then instead of them focusing you, they're focusing one of your teammates. So try to figure out if you're in a situation where you should be the one engaging or the one getting engaged on. The only time you should be the one getting engaged on is if they just have way more tanks than you and you just need to pill for your hyper carry ADC. Alright guys, I'm going to go over the runes and masteries for Rammus real quick because apparently I forgot to. For your masteries on Rammus, the most important thing is that you take Courage of the Colossus. Stoneborn Pact isn't a horrible choice, but overall Courage of the Colossus is much better. It's going to give you a lot of tankiness. It's also going to help you out a lot more in 1v1s, in 2v2 situations in the early and mid game. For your rune page on Rammus, there's a lot of runes that will work as long as you have attack speed and attack damage in them. Ultimately though, you're going to want to go for a flat attack damage reds. For your quints, you're going to want to get two armor quints and one attack speed quint. 
Then you're gonna wanna go ahead and get nine scaling health per level yellows, six flat cooldown blues, three scaling per level cooldown blues. The reason to take six and three on your blues is because this will give you 10% cooldown, which is great. It also give you a little bit more cooldown early game. If you take all scaling, all you can get is 15% cooldown reduction, which is a really awkward number because you end up wasting 5% anyways. So overall going for this five and five percent cooldown reduction is the best. It's gonna help you out more early game and late game it's gonna do the same thing as if you took all scaling. All right guys, that is gonna wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed this short Ramus guide. I don't really like making full champion guides because I feel like most of the information is completely useless. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you like longer guides or do you like guides like this? My name is King Six. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you next video.